Hello there, you're watching Danski, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to draw a monogram logo in Adobe Illustrator. And for this tutorial, we're going to be working with the letter U. It's going to be very maze-like, very linear, and let's jump into it. So to start with, I've created a new document, 900 pixels wide, 900 pixels high, and I'm going to select the ellipse tool, left click and hold shift to draw a circle. And let's just position this circle in the middle. Now I'm going to select the white fill and just select none here just to remove that and we'll leave the black stroke selected. And from the stroke panel I'm going to select a weight. Let's go for let's go for 20 point. And next I'm going to select the direct selection tool. Just click anywhere on the artboard to deselect the circle. Drag over that top anchor point and then hit delete or backspace to remove it. Next, I'm going to select the pen tool and just left click on this top part here. And then I'm going to hold shift to make sure my line is straight and I'm going to left click. Now it wants to continue this. You can either go up to select and then select deselect or you can press escape and it will stop that continuation. Next, we're going to select the other side, left click and go up. You can see those smart guides are really helpful here in lining this all up. If you haven't got them turned on, go to view and down to smart guides. Just look for that little tick. Okay, so we've created a very basic letter U shape. Next, what we're going to do is select it and then go to object down to path and select offset path. And just tick the preview box. So we created our stroke weight at 20 pixels or 20 points. So what we're going to do is want to create this more than that. So if we go 25, you can see we have a very small gap. If we go for 40, we have a bigger gap and so on. We can adjust the offset here with the preview box selected and we can see how it's going to look. We're going to go for something very subtle. So we're going to go for an offset of 30 pixels and click OK. And we're going to select object path and repeat that again. So go to object uh, offset path, leave it at 30, click OK, and it repeats that same thing again. Now, if we go into outline mode, that's command or control Y, we can see the, the lines that make up this shape. And if we zoom in, what we can do is select the direct selection tool. And let's go back out of outline mode. So that's command or control Y. And what we're going to do is just select in between these top two anchor points. So just left click and then hit delete or backspace and it will remove that space between the two anchor points. And we're going to do the same again here. Let's just zoom in nice and close and with the direct selection tool, just click within that space and then hit delete or backspace to remove it. And we'll do the same on the other side. Direct selection tool, click anywhere between these two anchor points, hit delete or backspace and voila, it removes those lines. Now, ideally we want these all to be the same height. What we can do is with the direct selection tool still selected, just drag over all of these top anchor points and you'll get the alignment options at the top. And if you select vertical align top, it will align them all to the highest anchor point, which is really helpful. And if we drag over all of these again with the direct selection tool, just those top anchor points, we can use the up and down arrow keys to adjust the height of our letter U without skewing it out of proportion or anything. So we've created our line based letter U. Next, what we're going to do is zoom in again on the left side to start with, select the pen tool and we're going to join these up. So let's left click on this anchor point here. That's the second one in from the left. And we'll just join these up like so. And we'll go select, deselect, and do the same for this one. So we're just joining them up. And we'll do the same on the other side. So just select that second one in with the pen tool. And it will complete that line. Select, deselect. This shortcut here, that's Shift Command A or Shift Control A, is definitely worth learning. So there we go. Now, if we go into outline mode, you can see that all the lines here technically line up, but because this one on the left 
doesn't go anywhere from this anchor point it appears lower so we're going to have to manually correct this and what we can do is zoom in really really far at the moment I'm at 1400% and uh, we can actually turn on our rulers so if we go to view rulers and select show we'll just drag a guide down here and then with the direct selection tool we can grab this anchor point and pull it up and then that guide just helps us know that these are all exactly lined up which is especially useful if you're a perfectionist like me and we can do the same on the other side we've still got that guide and we can just drag this anchor point with the direct selection tool and we know that they're both lined up and we can switch off the guides now or the, the rulers sorry because we finished with those there we go guides there we go there's the shortcut to show guides and then you can go there and hide them as well so for the most part we've got our letter u next what we're going to do is apply some color so we can select our shape and from the swatches panel give the stroke a color make sure you have the stroke selected in the toolbar on the left and you can pick any color we're going to add a gradient so let's expand these panels from the top here and we can click anywhere on the gradient slider and it will apply that default black to white gradient and what we can do is simply just left click on a swatch and drag it on top of either the black or white swatches that are already there or we can drag it right in the middle and add it to our gradient slider and just left click and drag it off to remove it all together so let's go for a purple through pink gradient and we can adjust the angle here as well and we can even reverse the gradient if we like let's just collapse these panels again so we finished with that that's all looking fine if we adjust the size of our letter u holding shift you'll see that all these lines do stay uh well they, they stay true to the stroke width so that doesn't change we can select that and then manually adjust as we like which is quite nice because we can now control this so we can scale it up and down and then we can just adjust the width of the stroke just to get the final design that we're happy with and let's just tweak that a little bit more and then you may need to go back in and you can see here just from adjusting them these have kind of gone out of line a little bit and that's okay we can just nudge those up and you can switch on the rulers again and the guides if you'd like to get absolute pinpoint accuracy so there's the letter U I'm happy with it if you'd like to make sure that it's kind of finished and you're happy with it and you don't want to edit any more widths uh, you can always drag a copy over here by pressing alt shift and dragging and that's an editable version we'll keep out of the way there just in case we need it and then with our shape selected we can go to object expand and leave fill and stroke selected click OK and there we go we have our completed shape uh, as you scale this down or scale it up the proportions will stay exactly the same and lastly I'm just going to select a line to artboard and align it centrally within the artboard and there we go that's how to draw a monogram logo in Adobe Illustrator as always guys please feel free to leave any questions or comments down below like this video if you enjoyed it take care and I'll see you next time